Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the tutorials on natural language processing. In the last classes, we have covered the three basic uh, building block of NLP, which are tokenization, stop words removing, lemmatization. We, uh, in the last class also, we saw about the back of words model and we did a hands-on coding exercise as well so we'll now be starting with another new topic which is known as uh, part of speech tagging or pos tagging i guess you might have seen this word in like uh, many of the articles or like you might have seen this word many times if you were actually researching about nlp since it's a very very important concept so we'll be doing a hands-on coding exercise using part of speech tagging but before that uh, let me introduce you to the definition of part of speech or uh, pos tagging so as you know a sentence consists of various elements in english drama like uh, noun then the noun can be proper noun or common noun and then verbs adjectives and uh, tenses and all of that kind of thing right so part of speech tagging as you might have already guessed by now is actually tagging all of the elements of that speech uh, into into some form like it might be noun uh, adverb pronoun or verb adjective like something similar tagging everything into like the english elements or uh, english uh, semantics right so this is what is known as part of speech tagging don't worry if you have not got this idea or you are not till comfortable with what i am actually telling you we'll be actually doing a hands-on coding exercise which will actually clear all of your concepts so without wasting much of our time on this let's get started so i will go ahead and fire up my jupyter notebook and i will import the required library so i will import nltk and then i will write some random text which is let's say so this is a sentence that i do have at this point in time the indian cricket team saw a transition after the 2011 world cup senior players were dropped and youngsters were given chances right so now i want to tag like everything like every part of speech like which is verb which is an adverb pronoun and all of that kind of thing right so for that the first thing first i need to tokenize the sentence so from nltk dot tokenize import word tokenize right and now i'll be storing the result in a variable on a list known as result result is equals to word tokenize text and uh, then once this is done so i will tell you or i will let you know what the result is so you can see this is the result that we do have at this point in time and now i want to tag this thing right i want to tag uh, the entire sentence or the result that i have actually got so for that what i can do is i could store this in a list known as final and then i would have nltk.pos underscore tag and then i would pass it result and once i run this piece of code okay like uh, okay so uh, it tells me like uh, that i don't have the required library like installed over here for pos tagging so i have to download this particular library to use pos tagging so let me first download this library you will also get this error if you're actually using pos tagging for the first time i am not but i don't know like why why is it not installed on my local system so let me just download this like library over here which will actually help us in pos tagging so now at the library has been installed and now let me run this piece of code now as you can see like uh, we have now like uh, there is no error so that means the line or the cell has successfully ran and then we will print the final variable of the final list and as you can see like this is the one that we are getting the result that we are getting on a closer look it's quite similar to like uh, uh, very very similar to the tokenization thing that we are getting but now we do have a fixed tuple over here uh, and, and in the tuple the second element is basically something called dt then jj then nnp nnp vbd tt and in dt cd nnp and we don't know like what what this is right we don't know like what it is trying to represent so what i i can tell you that okay it's trying to represent some uh, like uh, part of the speech uh, but we are not sure like what nnp represents or what jj represents so for that we do have like uh, one helper function in nltk and this is known as nltk dot help dot i'm not sure what the function is called i guess this is you pen set and then i have to pass in let's say dt so uh, the is actually tagged as dt right so let me just use dt and let me see like what result does it gives me so 
again i don't have the required uh, library downloaded as such so i would have to download this library so that is why i actually suggest you to work on like google collab kind of thing uh, where you don't have to like uh, download these kind of things because they're already pre-installed over here but certain you can download this by using the error actually and you will actually get the result so yeah dt is actually determined uh, determined and as we can see like they have given some example also like uh, all and another any board del each either half uh, all of uh, these are actually deter uh, determinants right and um, like uh, like the it's a determiner determiner it's itself and now let us like look what dj actually stands for so i am guessing dj actually stands for some like uh, uh something like nationality but i'm not too sure let me check it's adjective or numerical or ordinary uh it is also third ill mannered pre war recreative okay so this is the example that is giving us so it's telling us that okay it's adjective so yes indian can be an adjective and then it's something like nnp so nnp is basically i guess something for noun and uh, it's proper noun so cricket is maybe a proper noun i'm not exactly sure if it's a proper noun or not but yeah the, but then you can actually see like it has actually tagged different parts of the speech and we are able to get uh, different parts right like it can tell me okay this is a verb and this is something so vw vbd it can be a verb so let me check what this is vbd and as you can see this is a verb in past tense so yeah so saw is a verb in past tense which is absolutely correct so as you might have seen like we can actually get different parts of the speech and all of that kind of thing using the pos tag thing uh but uh, now you should ask me like what is the importance like why are we actually tagging different parts of the speech so many times it might happen that while pre-processing you need only some names right some proper nouns or a certain verbs only to actually come out to actually come out right like i like you might say i only require the certain names or i only require uh like uh, the verb in the speech or i only require the uh, determiners in the speech and all of that kind of thing so this this will actually help over here to actually separate out certain parts so let's suppose i want to get all of the determiners in the speech like what determiners are basically present in the, the speech so it's very easy i could actually iterate over the final variable i could actually check like the first index is dt or not and if the first index is dt let us only print the like the variable uh, or the zeroth index so what i can do is for i in range zero comma len of final if final of i comma one or i one is equals equals to dt then print final of i comma zero and let me let this piece of code for you so as you can see like we're getting the uh, and the and the are actually the determiners that are actually present in the speech so similarly you could actually do something for uh, let's say nnp as well so let me just run this for nnp and see what are the proper nouns that we're actually getting so for an NP cricket team world and cup that is the nouns that that are actually proper nouns that we are getting so i hope the pos tagging concept is now absolutely clear to you and you understand like what pos tagging is and how do we use pos tagging in nnp so certainly these are some of the very important concepts that you should know starting from tokenization stop words removal stemming bag of words and pos because they are widely used as a pre-processing model so keep practicing them and keep working on them so that you can get comfortable and i will stop this lecture over here with the hope that you have actually understood and learn something interesting and important from it see you in the next one thank you